What's up guys, it's Jeff with iDownload Blog. Gonna show you how to downgrade your iOS device using Retino 0.9.15 Beta 1. You can see I'm running iOS 6 on my iPhone 4. I'm gonna downgrade back to iOS 5.1.1 using this latest version of Red Snow. Now you will need your SHSH blobs for what, whichever firmware you wanna downgrade to. So in my case, I need the SHSH blobs for iOS 5.1.1. Normally you should have those saved on Cydia, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as you have those saved. First of all, go ahead and place your device in a DFU mode, hold home and power for 10 seconds, and then after 10 seconds are up, release the power button, continue holding home for an additional 10 seconds, and your screen should remain black, something like this. Now we can head over to our computer. Make sure, of course, your device is connected to your computer before doing this, head over to your computer, make sure you download the latest version of Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 1. You can see it's recognizing my iPhone 4 in DFU mode. Go ahead and click on Extras, and then even more at the bottom. Now you should see the Restore option here to restore to an IPSW. It can even preserve your baseband for you guys who wanna use Ultra Snow to unlock. Click IPSW, find the firmware file for your device. Here's my iPhone 4 5.1.1 firmware file. So I can go ahead and select preserve baseband. I don't really care about that, but if you do, you can click on yes there. All right, it's gonna do its work here. And then you should see where it recognizes the build. And now you can select your IPS, or I'm sorry, your SHSH blobs. If you have them saved locally, you can click on local. I don't have them saved locally yet because I haven't fetched them from Cydia, but you can do that and it's gonna store it here um, in the library application support red snow folder. I'll show you where you can find that here. Let's pull that up for you guys. See it, library application support red snow folder, and that's where all the data for red snow is saved. So if you wanna just reference that for some reason, you can do that. Just the FYI for you guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on remote to fetch these from Cydia because the 5.1.1 firmware, or SHSH blobs should be saved on Cydia. So just click remote, it'll fetch the blobs from the server and it'll do its work here. So just be patient. Now I'm going to get an error message. And I wanna show you this so you guys won't just give up because this isn't really a problem. I'm gonna show you how you can work around this error message with the app tickets. See that? Couldn't restore mismatched app ticket. That's okay, don't just trip out over this. It's not a big deal. Just go ahead and click okay here. Now we wanna head back over to our device. You should see your device look something like this. Place it back into DFU mode. Just hold home and power for 10 seconds. And then after 10 seconds, release the power button. Continue holding home for 10 additional seconds like we did at the outset and the screen should remain black. And all we're gonna do is just repeat this process. I'm gonna show you right here. Just open up the IPSW like that. Click yes if you wanna preserve baseband and let it run. That's all you need to do and this thing will downgrade right now. So that little mismatch app ticket, don't worry about that. Don't get too frustrated over it. Just place, place the device back in a DFU mode and Click on the IPSW button, select your IPSW that you want to downgrade to and let it run just like this. And I've sped this up. Obviously, this takes a little longer to actually downgrade, but I wanted you guys to see this fairly quickly. So you won't have to wait all day. Okay, you can see it's already recognizing the device 5.1.1. There we are. We're downgraded, folks. It really is that easy. So I'm going to just go ahead and finish setup here so you guys can see the settings app, the about page, showing 5.1.1. Okay, almost through this little rigmarole. Don't sin, start using iPhone. Okay, there we go, you can see the wallpaper is indicative of 5.1.1, but just to prove it, let's go to settings, and let's go to general and about. And there we go, 5.1.1. So that's how you downgrade and you can use any firmware that you have SHSH blobs saved for. It doesn't have to just be 5.1.1, but that's how you use Red Snow, the new Red Snow, to downgrade easily. No iTunes required, no Pwn DFU mode. It's super easy. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, folks. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.